definitely they are pushing this whole idea and it's all about the divide and conquer the flat earth is the truth but more or less they're just pushing it out there as a form of mockery of course all of us have been told you know in the school system that we live on a supposed ball earth and now they're just playing mind games with us now they're flipping the script and now they're putting this out there of course like i stated it's all about the divide and conquer now as i showed many times also in previous videos going back in time with B.O.B. You know, the rapper tequila tequila kyrie irvin even mma star bj penn and wwe star aj styles most recently with shaquille o'neal of course but the whole entire concept is putting the truth in what seemingly is a ridiculous place with these entertainers and with shaquille o'neal just a few days ago again it's the whole entire concept of duality when it comes to freemasonry with george carlin speaking a ton of truth but who's going to take a comedian seriously it's all about the world of freemasonry where again everything is on opposites as you see the whole entire concept of the black and the white the opposite of black is white just like when they're going to tell us supposedly we live on a ball earth when it's actually flat now let's take a look at this clip again talking about dave Chappelle with jimmy kimmel and i find it interesting i want to mention this as well before i even show the clip with the whole entire concept of hollywood basically it goes back in time with the ancient druids where they used to make witches wands and magic wands out of the holly tree this is how you get the name hollywood okay it's not but we're told it's basically it means witchcraft you know they're always going to give us false means and false definitions for everything that's what it all comes down to now let's play this video clip and i'll break it all down again with jimmy kimmel interviewing dave Chappelle. start from the very beginning here talking about again the whole the whole controversy about the flat earth who plays for the Cavaliers, he he recently said that he believes the world is flat. Is that a subject that you covered with him? Did you, were you aware of that? I wouldn't even know how to broach that topic. <laughs> Word, is that what you think? He's like, what do you say? I don't know. I guess maybe you just kind of, I guess if you don't, you feel it, it won't really make any kind of a difference. I don't, I don't understand the philosophy behind the flat earth theory. Why, why do you say that? I just don't understand. First of all, what difference does it make? <laughs> All the difference in the world. It's the foundation of the world we live in. And when the foundation is a lie, everything else after is a lie as well. There's no truth in a lie. They want to hide God. That's what it's all about. The supposed ball earth spinning at 1,100 miles an hour at the equator while supposedly traveling at 70,000 miles an hour. And you don't feel it, of course, because it does not happen. But since science tells us it must be true, but there's no evidence of us spinning or moving whatsoever the bible states the earth is fixed it's firm immovable thou hast fixed the earth immovable and firm all these bible verses and like i stated many times how they work on opposites with former famous satanist and freemason alistair crowley this whole concept goes back further to elephus levy again learning how to do things in the opposites reverse learning how to write backwards walk backwards Listen to phonographic records in reverse, speaking backwards, reading backwards. They say the Lord's Prayer backwards in the Satanic Church. So again, understand, it's not a coincidence. Whatever the Bible states, they're going to tell us the exact opposite. They Again, it's all about Freemasonry and duality. And free, Freemasonry is nothing more than Satanism in disguise. I'm not talking about lower level Masons being Satanists, but the higher upper levels, when 100% without a shadow of a doubt they are. Now, again, talking about the entire globe, the whole entire concept of this lie, the foundation for evolution, the Big Bang, atheism, alien seeding, paganism, the occult, the New World Order, and the satanic world control. Now, the flat earth described in the Bible validates the Bible's specifically proven points to God alone as the creator and blows the satanic deception wide open. This is what it's about. It's about hiding God once again. Now let's continue on with Jimmy Kimmel, again with this interview with Dave Chappelle. And that's a matter of how we draw it up. But I feel like with the world, with the earth, when you stand back and you look at the horizon, you can see curvature. You can actually see it. Where's the curvature? 
Okay, we hear about this word curvature our entire lives. Understand, science is based on observation and experiment. So again, on observation alone here, where's the curvature? There's absolutely none. This is in Dubai, the world's tallest building. No curvature whatsoever. This same here, absolutely nothing. So what's the deal? You just heard Jimmy Kimmel talk about curvature like it's obvious, when in actuality, it's obvious there's none. Okay, the only time you'll get curvature is with a fisheye lens camera, just like you see here during this documentary from History Channel. And again, the fisheye lens camera, the false perspective, creating a false reality. Just take a look at this pole and how it's curved. Completely ridiculous how people can't see the obvious. Just like with this one photo as well. Just another example of a fisheye lens. And this is the reality here. With the horizon, always remains eye level no matter how high you go up. From an airplane to the very highest altitudes, the horizon again remains at eye level. Now let's continue on with the interview with Dave Chappelle. Or if you fly in one direction, you'll come back around, which is which in a flat world probably would not happen. That is true. That is true. But now let's take a look here. Okay, these knuckleheads have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to flight paths of these airplanes. Okay, let's take a look here. For example, from South Africa, Johannesburg to Perth, Australia, you never have this flight going across the Indian Ocean. The plane always goes up. From Johannesburg to Dubai, when this region in the Middle East, it comes back down. And why is that? Because on the flat Earth model, here is your Johannesburg, South Africa. You fly over to Dubai. It's a straight line. This is an example to Sydney here. But again, going to Perth or you going to Sydney, you go to New Zealand, you got to cross over. No shortcuts, but it's a straight line over. Just like the whole idea of going from Sydney say Santiago Chile with the flights go up north to the United States come back straight down because you're basically just making a straight line from Australia going through the United States to Chile and of course if you know anything about the flat earth there's a huge ice wall that surrounds the whole world that keeps the oceans in you don't go over the side just like with the ball earth the ball earth you actually literally supposedly go over the sides and somehow miraculously a ship can again go over the side or go up and down and to the bottom to Antarctica supposedly and somehow magically gravity can hold a you know multi-ton ship with all of its passengers all of its crew and everyone aboard magically held in a place by this unproven force called gravity give me a complete break just like the whole entire concept of Sydney, Australia, the harbor being upside down, you know, the the waters itself, everybody walking, <laughs> all the cars driving through the street somehow magically, due to gravity, held down at the bottom. Give me a, a break once again. Now just take a look at this huge cargo ship, this container ship, holding all this. And again, just imagine somehow this cargo ship on the side or the bottom of a ball earth and magically again being held down due to gravity and these ships are actually supposedly underneath Antarctica you give me a break again it's a complete joke you're not upside down you're not on the side of a of a so-called ball basically what's happening here again it's just your ice ring and everything is level okay there are some of course with the land formations there are peaks and valleys but for the most part you're upright you're not again upside down if you're in Australia or you're in Antarctica just take a look at the this model again how for those that follow my channel they'll know this show this many times with how the Sun revolves around the flat earth this is why again the the ice walls remain frozen, of course, holding all the oceans in. And again, how you know the sun rises for everybody in the east and sets in the west. It's very simple, nothing complex about it whatsoever. 
Now to conclude this video more on the occultic side with these two. But basically nothing more than sellouts. You're not going to make it on TV. You're not going to make it big unless you sell out. And that includes Dave Chappelle. Just take a look at Dave Chappelle. I believe this is from a few years back during this comedy routine. Just take a listen to what he says here at the very start. I want to be friendly once a year, nigga. The uh, Illuminati Christmas party. Yeah. Talks about the Illuminati Christmas party. And you see the pant leg rolled up, all to do with Freemasonry. He has his left foot on the speaker so everybody can see what he's doing. And if you take a close look here, he's doing the so-called AOK sign, which is nothing more than the 666. And also, a little occultic side here as well when it comes to these, the scaffolding. It looks like a bunch of X's in numerology. I'll show this in advance here with LL Cool J. When it comes to an X, it's basically a six, just like triple X porn or triple X the movie itself. Triple X is coded for 666. And again, when I talk about masonry and you see this Masonic initiation, again, with the pant leg rolled up, closer look at Dave Chappelle. He's putting it right in your face and the people in the audience don't get it. They know nothing about masonry. It's going to go right over their head. Now, again, like I showed earlier with LL Cool J, and why he's called LL. He'll give you a false meaning. He's just a creation by those behind the scenes. You know, they look for those that have talent and shape them and form them to what you see on TV with LL in numerology being nothing more than 33. This is the devil's number, the highest degree in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, and also a reference to a third or the 33% of the fallen angels. And I'm not saying, you know, he's a Satanist per se, or Dave Chappelle is. But they're definitely sellouts to the ones that own and control TV. It's that simple in the entertainment industry and everything else in this world they own and control it all. Now, getting back to Jimmy Kimmel, the same entire concept with him being nothing more than a control puppet. I find it very interesting where Jimmy Kimmel Live is basically broadcast from this Freemasonic temple. Freemasonry builds its temples among the nations. This is why Freemasonry is called an international enterprise. They own and control this whole entire world. And also here you flip over the Jimmy Kimball live. You have evil in reverse. I talked about the whole idea, the whole entire concept of doing things in reverse. Live and evil. And you flip over again, turn sideways at Jimmy Kimball and you get your dual 33s all about masonry. With this grand sovereign commander, the, the dual 33s with Freemasonry's all over the place. Just like the supposed trap 33 miners, the dual 33s, just like this one particular movie, Full Metal Jacket, and you have the dual 33s behind the prostitute. While everybody's focusing on, on her, you see your dual 33s in plain sight. This is how they do it. Always, everything's always in plain sight. For those that have eyes to see. One thing else I want to mention. A little bit off topic. But just for reference. You see all the stars. The Hollywood stars. Again I mentioned earlier in the video. How it's all about witchcraft. And again the stars on the streets. States in the Bible. How basically. Again a third or 33%. Of the stars were thrown to earth. From heaven. This is the entire concept. Stars are one of the basically the most important symbols. When it comes to the so-called elite. And they're again everywhere in society as well. Now getting back to the whole entire topic. With this debate. About flat earth. With all these puppets bringing it out. And don't think for a second they're doing it on their own. They're all controlled. Just like Shaquille O'Neal. Like I mentioned earlier George Carlin. It's all about again the divide and conquer. This debate. This is again another forum. A divide in the nation. They're going to bring this out more and more. You're going to see more of it out there. You're going to see more and more celebrities talking about the flat earth. And again, I mentioned before in other videos, the whole debate about 9-11 has become stale. It's just another debate form of divide and conquer. But again, it's the 100% absolute truth. And I advise anybody that's new to the whole flat earth, definitely take a look at it. It's the absolute truth. Think for yourself. You have to be willing to, to cut against the grain and get the distance from your people. When they said I
Things are 